Welcome back to our video series on ventilation and infection control. Facilities managers use a multifaceted approach with heating, ventilation, and air conditioning or HVAC systems in hospitals to help reduce the spread of germs. One strategy is adjusting the mixture of outside air being brought into the building versus the amount of recirculated air being used in the building. There are building codes that set the minimum requirement of outside air being brought in based on the type of space. For example, a standard patient room has to have a total of six air changes per hour, and at least two of those air changes have to be with outside air. This means that the total air in the room has to be fully replaced six times each hour, and 50% of that air must be fresh air from the outside. Other rooms, such as operating rooms, require more total and outside air changes. When we have a surge of patients in the facility with infectious diseases that can spread through the air, we may increase the amount of outside air to a room or space and decrease how much of the air in that space is refiltered and sent back into the building by instead pulling that air out of the building. This is a specific strategy to reduce the spread of germs throughout the hospital. However, increasing the amount of outside air can also cause problems. Outside air has to be filtered and conditioned to the correct temperatures and humidity ranges before it can be distributed throughout the hospital. And many of our air handling units were not designed to condition and use 100% outside air in the building, so they struggle to keep up. Because of this, we employ other strategies such as daily checks for airflow direction of critical spaces to make sure the air is always flowing from a cleaner space to a less clean space. We may also increase the level of filtration for many air handling units so they can capture more germs. Both of these strategies, when done correctly, have proven at least equally as effective at reducing the number of germs in the air as increasing the amount of outside air. Hospitals are always looking for the best strategy to increase airflow while reducing the spread of germs. Understanding airflow and infection control can help you determine when to talk to the facility's management team if there's a concern about ventilating spaces. Your facility's team will be happy to answer questions about these strategies, and we may even offer to give you a tour.